Hey guys, welcome back. Today on The Untidy Artist, I thought it would be fun to do a birdcage veil. It is, after all, wedding season, and I love birdcage veils. When I was a kid, my dad collected antiques, and we had a lot of vintage hats, and I was obsessed with them and thought the birdcage veils were absolutely gorgeous. So, uh, these are actually really, really easy to make. Let's grab a few simple supplies and get started. First thing you'll need for your veil is some netting. I'll be using 9 inch netting today and there are two different types. Russian netting is a little bit stiffer where French netting is a little bit softer. I'll be using a French netting that has a dotted chenille on it. I thought that was a fun little accent. You can see those little fuzzy chenille pieces sewn into it right there. Okay, then you'll need a needle and thread and a comb or a clip or something that you want to sew your veil onto. I'll be using a comb today because I think that's the easiest. And then I have some tool to match my veil and I'll be using a piece of that, some scissors and something to measure with. Okay, let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is cover our comb. So I'm going to measure my tool to 40 inches and Fold it in half because I just want to cut a strip that's about an inch and a half wide. So your final strip of the tool will be 40 inches by one and a half inches. So I, can, I have this big long piece of tool and it's off white just like my Russian netting. And I am going to hold a piece over the front of the comb and then using the long piece I'm going to start twisting it and wrapping it around the comb. So I'm going to wrap it three or four times around each little part of the comb. So you're just weaving it in and out of the teeth of the comb. What this will do is give our veil something to attach to because if we just tried to sew it to the comb it wouldn't really work. So this gives us something to sew the veil to. And when you get to the end you're just going to tie the piece that you held in the front to your little end. So left over right, right over left, and I usually do a knot a couple times to make sure that that's nice and secure and then I'm going to just trim it with my scissors. And don't worry about that little end, we'll be covering it up with the veil. So go ahead and now that you have that ready, just set it aside and you're going to measure out 26 inches of your 9 inch veiling. So your veil will be 9 inches by 26 inches. And if you want to make it a little bit smaller, you can take it down to 24 inches. If you want to make it a little bit bigger, you can take it up to 28 inches. Then I'm going to fold it in half and on the raw edges, I'm going to measure up 5 inches and just mark it with my scissors there. And then right at the mark where I measured up five inches, I'm going to cut along the lines of the veiling at a diagonal. So I'm using the natural lines in the veiling to cut at an angle. And so it should look like this. And then I'm going to start sewing. I'm gonna take my needle and thread and sew through the little woven squares in the netting in and out. So I'm just gathering the netting. So I go up through the little square and then down through the next square, back and forth to gather the netting. And I started at my lower right hand corner and I'm going to sew up and around the entire veil, leaving the bottom edge, which will be the front of our veil, flat. You can see I'm going up that first side and then across the diagonal. Then we'll go all the way across the top, back down the diagonal on the left, and end up on the bottom left hand corner. And once I reach the edge, I'm not going to tie it in a knot just yet because we want to arrange the gathers so they fit across our comb. So go ahead, grab the comb. You can see it's it has the shape of a birdcage. So grab your comb 
that you already have added the tool to and hold both of the ends of the veil up to the comb because you want to make sure that it fits from one end to the next. So once I have the correct length and it the gathers are going to fit across the comb, I'm going to sew a knot in the end. Now you can see that's all gathered and we have that it's gathered from one end to the next. We are going to take the front of the veil, flip it upside down, and the front of the veil will be facing away from you and the gathered portion will be facing the back of the comb. And we are going to start to attach the veil to the netting that's on the comb. So you, once again, the front of the veil is facing away from me and I'm sewing it to the inside curved part of my comb, sewing it in and out of the tool. It actually worked a little bit better when I flipped it the other way so that I didn't get my thread caught in the teeth of the comb. But you can just see that having the netting on the comb gives me something to hook my needle into and I'm just looping it in and out so you can't even see the stitches. And when I reach the other edge, I'm going to secure it with a knot and trim off my excess thread. And you want to make sure that that's nice and secure. So you can see we sewed the veil to the inside of the comb. And that's it guys, you are all set. These are so simple to make. I know that you can actually purchase them for a lot of money on Etsy and a lot of different places and making it was just really fast and easy. And then I'm going to take this organza flower and place it over the comb and you can actually wear it just with the comb or if you want to put something sparkly, a pretty flower, whatever you want to embellish the veil some more. And you can check out some of my other tutorials on how to make some hair flowers on my YouTube channel or by click clicking on the link. And that's it guys, you are all set. Thank you so much for watching. Please check out some of my other tutorials. I have a lot of fun hair flower tutorials and if you liked this tutorial, give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions, please post those below. Check out my website, untidyartist.com, and if you haven't already subscribed, please do. Thanks, guys. We'll see you next time.